Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name's Elle. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here with me today, exactly as you are. And thank you so much for giving me the space to be here today, exactly as I am. Welcome back to the vlog. I was going to say good morning, but it is not morning. It is nearly three in the afternoon and this is my first time talking to you all today. My last clip that you saw was me buying my vlog camera, my very first vlog camera, and I am so excited. I'm so excited to finally have like a vlog camera, be able to film on something other than my phone. As you just saw, I did my, I did a tarot spread for the upcoming year, 2022, and that being my first spread, I think like all month, let me double check real fast, this being my first tarot reading in nearly two months, just makes me really excited to get back into spirituality as a whole and also just makes me incredibly excited for the upcoming year and everything that is going to unfold for me and I couldn't be more excited and I couldn't be more grateful either because yeah I'm not going to force myself out of it because we know how it goes whenever I try and force myself out of depressive episodes, but this depressive episode has lasted me nearly two months, two months going on three, and I'm slowly starting to get better. I definitely don't want to overdo anything. I am starting to feel better, but there's also things that I can implement into my daily life that will help me feel better because the thing is, I haven't really been doing anything, which when you get into like a state like this, like finding the motivation to even do just one good thing for you can be incredibly hard and that's kind of just exactly where I've been so I haven't even been able to make like small steps in improving like my mental health and overall well-being but now I finally feel like I am up to at least implementing like a few small things into my daily life that'll help me feel better I just, I've fallen off the spirituality wagon as well. Like I just haven't been doing 
any of my daily practices that I was really consistent with for a while. And I mean, there are these lulls and I'm trying not to beat myself up about it. And I'm trying not to look at this as a step back because these aren't step backs. This is all a part of the process. But what isn't a part of the process is just running from my emotions and acting like everything's okay when genuinely I know mentally like there's just like so much turmoil like going on because that's exactly what's occurring yeah one of the questions in this tarot spread was how can i progress in my spiritual path and it was basically just like getting in touch with my emotions getting in touch with my feelings because i am a highly sensitive person i am a rather emotional person and I do connect with my surface level emotions. Like, I do acknowledge my feelings. Like, I don't suppress them. But, like, the deep-rooted feelings, like the ones that have just been buried for years and years or months and months, I'm very bad at confronting. Like, ones that have to do with trauma more or less than just, like, your average daily emotions. Like which is something I am going to work on within the new year. I also want to like, I can't really progress anywhere until I finally stop lying to myself about shadow work. Like I finally have to do it. Like I, like there is just so much I feel like deep-rooted, deep-seated trauma and self-limiting beliefs that there isn't much moving forward until I at least, like, crack the barrier on that. Like, I have to be comfortable with knowing that those emotions are going to come up because saying I'm comfortable with those emotions coming up versus actually being comfortable with those emotions coming up are two completely different things. And I say I'm comfortable with it all the time, but the moment that I let myself sit with my thoughts for too long, that they start to drift towards those types of things, like I just, I snap myself out of it. I pull myself out of it. Like I start like, I just run from it. Like, I don't let myself really, like, settle with the emotions and, like, my real feelings about certain situations, which I want to get better at. And it all takes time. And I know that I'm not going to, like, perfectly accomplish this all as well within, like, the next year. But the least that I can do is try and I haven't been doing that for the couple, the past couple months. And I at least owe it to myself to try. Oh my god! Whoa! Oh my goodness, okay, I feel like that's so, like... Hey! 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 Oh my god, okay, I have to look at you because... Oh my god, okay, hello! Do you notice anything? Do you notice anything, like, different? Do you notice anything, perhaps, like, higher quality? <laughs> I have a vlog camera! Oh my god. And it's all mine. And, oh my god, I'm so grateful, I'm so grateful.
Oh my god, like, I'm cheesing so hard. My cheeks hurt. Yet you're going to have to bear with me as I kind of just navigate learning how to work my vlog camera. Let me turn off my phone. Oh my goodness, like, my phone is right here and I'm filming and like, wow, that is so good. I'm getting ready to run up to Walmart because it is the 23rd, so it's the day before Christmas Eve. I may go look as well and see what vinyls they have. So I'm pretty happy that I ended up deciding to look through the records at Walmart because I almost decided to just like skip it but I'm happy I decided to look because I found the Lumineer self-titled and it's the red edition. This gorgeous like ruby red and it is so pretty and if you didn't know I had to restart my record collection because in a tragic accident all of my other records got ruined. Last week I got a new record player and since then I've just been collecting records. I found every single one of them at Walmart actually which I'm really surprised by because I have I have six records right now. To find like six really good records at Walmart, a steal. Love it, super happy that Walmart decided to start carrying vinyl. Okay, so not to sound dramatic or anything, but I think my plant is dying, like, dramatically, like, drastically, and I don't know what to do about it. Like, I'm gonna show you my plant. I'm gonna show you my arrowhead plant that's sitting on my desk. And it just looks so sad. And it was doing, like, so good, like, a few weeks ago. My plant is dying, and I don't know what to do. Hello, so it is Christmas Eve. I opened and assembled one of my presents. My family isn't like too big on Christmas. We don't do a whole bunch. We only get like a few small presents a piece and like I'm okay with that I'm not a big like holiday person anyways this cart for Christmas it is just like a three-tier cart I moved everything that was on like the first shelf over here um, over here so all of my journals and stuff are now sitting here I'm not sure when I'm gonna end this vlog but it may be soon, it may not be soon. I don't know, I'm just so excited. I'm just so happy to have a vlog camera also. Look at Astrid. She is just the cutest. Forgive my haggard appearance. It's currently 425 in the morning. So last night, like I went to bed around like eight o'clock because I wasn't feeling like too great. My stomach was hurting. 
So I just decided to like go ahead, take some melatonin, lay down, go to bed. A phone call ended up waking me up at 10 p.m. from like a family member and like everything's fine, I think. But overall the phone call just made me incredibly anxious and I had a really hard time going back to sleep and overall staying asleep. Remember how I said I was going to go back to bed at like 5 a.m.? Yeah, it's now 7.30 <laughs> and I never went back to bed. I just got ready and I'm going to run to the grocery store. I made a grocery list for the first time since like May. I think I've worn this like zip up before. And like honestly previous like in this video like earlier but it is so comfy and I just thrifted it I think like maybe two weeks ago and I've just been living in it it's so good I don't really like how I look in hats but my head gets really cold <laughs> so I just have to deal with it Ben train I hope the grocery store will be empty because it's literally not even 8 a.m. yet so the grocery store should be like pretty vacant Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. The two non like grocery things that I bought is this candle in the scent country holiday which is like I didn't realize that I guess it was like a Christmas edition or winterberry snowdrop petals and cypress and I think this smells really good especially with like my fresh cut like Fraser wax melt as well as like my alpine forest candle I very much like foresty scents like dark earthy scents but this is like a nice compliment to that like it's still earthy but also has like a few lighter notes or whatever I don't really think I know what I'm talking about and then the second thing was another SD card for my little camera am I a canon bitch now like 